This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Good evening, my Real News Media TV family. Welcome back to the channel for another news update for June 28, 2023. And in the news this evening, victims in Spanish town double murder were known to go to thieves, says the police. The major investigation division says two men who were found with bullet wounds in the truck of a Toyota Probox along the Salt Pond Main Road in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, on Tuesday afternoon were known go to thieves. A third man who turned up at the Spanish Town Hospital with bullet wounds is suspected to be a crony of the deceased. The police are also searching for a fourth man who was traveling with the others when they were attacked by people with high-powered weapons about 4.30 a.m. The deceased are unidentified. Detective Inspector David Harris of the Major Investigation Division told the news that it is believed that the men were killed elsewhere and dumped along the roadway. He said residents noticed that a Toyota Pro Box registered PH9913 was parked for hours, so they alerted the police. Uh, Toyota Pro Box registered PH9913 was seen parked on the road. Citizens noticed the vehicle. The vehicle was there for hours, so the police was notified. Um, on their arrival, checks were made, and two large Nubian goats were seen in the vehicle, as also the body, bodies of two male deceased of brown complexion, slim built. Um, one appeared to be bleach brown in dark colored clothing. Cobb shot in shoulder in Yorktown. A police officer was reportedly shot in the shoulder in the Yorktown community in Clarendon on Wednesday. The cop is said to be from the Fort Parts police station in the parish. Reports are that he was pounced upon by men traveling in a gray Toyota Pro Box who alighted from the car and fired shots at him. He then ran into the Yorktown community. No motive for the shooting has been revealed. Teen charged after confessing to chopping elderly man to death. A 19-year-old has been charged after he turned himself in and confessed to the murder of an elderly man who was chopped to death in Barnstable in Stewarttown, Trelawney. The deceased has been identified as 77-year-old Hewitt Clark of a Barnstable address in the parish. Charged is 19-year-old Giovanni Robinson, a laborer, also of the Barnstable community. Police say the incident occurred between Friday, June 23 and Saturday, June 24. Reports are that about 6 p.m. on Saturday, Clark was found by community members in his pickup truck parked in front of his yard. He was motionless and his body had chop wounds. The police were summoned and upon arrival, Clark was seen in the right front passenger seat with multiple slashes to his hands, chin and chest. He was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. On Sunday, June 25, 2023, Robinson turned himself in to the police where he admitted that he chopped Clark to death with a machete. He was charged on Tuesday following an interview. Woman succumbs following two vehicle crash in St. Elizabeth. A woman succumbed at hospital four days after she sustained injuries in a two vehicle crash on the Longwood Main Road near Santa Cruz in St. Elizabeth. Police named the woman as a Beryl Robinson, 51, a resident of Newmarket in the parish. A police report said that on Friday about 2.30 p.m., two vehicles, a Toyota Fielder and a Toyota Noah, which operated as a taxi, collided on the Longwood Main Road. Police said Robinson was a passenger in the Toyota Fielder. She sustained the injuries and was taken to hospital, where she died on Tuesday. Police said the driver of the Toyota Fielder is facing charges. He will be charged with causing death by dangerous driving. He was initially charged for careless driving, causing a collision, said a police source. Trunk transporting cement crashes in St. Anne. A truck laden with cement was looted when it crashed along the Mami Bay Main Road in St. Anne. Several persons were seen using shovels and buckets to collect the construction material at the crash site. Reports are that the flatbed truck carrying the cement 
lost its cargo over the last two kilometers of the highway before entering Ocherias and later crashed on the main road. The news understands that the spilled cargo on the roadway is contributing to larger dust clouds which have added to the significant delays being experienced at the Mami Bay exit of the Edward Siaga Highway in the parish. It is not clear whether the driver sustained any injuries. Portland a taxi operator accused of attempting to suffocate a woman with a pillow. A taxi operator of Rural Hill in Portland was slapped with several charges after he reportedly attacked his common-law spouse and attempted to suffocate her with a pillow during incidents spanning two days. Royan Stewart, 37, has been charged with attempt to suffocate with intent to commit murder, assault occasioning bodily harm, malicious destruction of property, and the simple larceny. The incidents of domestic violence reportedly occurred between Sunday, May 21 and Tuesday, May 23, 2023. Reports are that on Sunday, May 21, about 2.30 a.m., Stewart allegedly attacked his common-law spouse and pushed her into a concrete wall, causing injuries. He also reportedly destroyed her cellular phone and a laptop computer. In a bid to escape the abuse, the woman is said to have relocated to Johnson Mountain in St. Thomas. However, Stewart allegedly turned up at the home and attacked her again. This time, he reportedly used a pillow and attempted to suffocate the woman. He is also accused of stealing the woman's debit cards and the personal identification cards. A report was made to the police and the steward was subsequently arrested and charged. His court date is being arranged. Motorcyclist killed in Mandeville crash A motorcyclist died as a result of injuries he sustained following a two-vehicle collision on Caledonia Road in Mandeville on Monday. The deceased has been identified as Romaine Davidson, 26, a resident of Swaby's Hope near Spurtree in Manchester. A police report said about 1.45 a.m., Davidson was riding a Red Eagle CG200 motorcycle on Caledonia Main Road in the vicinity of Bromelia Road when he failed to keep left and collided with a Toyota Hilux pickup, which was traveling in the opposite direction. Police said the motorcyclist received upper and lower body injuries and died while undergoing treatment at the nearby Mandeville Regional Hospital. A senior police source in traffic management and accident investigations is urging motorists, especially motorcyclists, to adhere to the rules of the road and desist from excessive speeding. Too often drivers, particularly motorcyclists, disregard road safety. They don't care about pedestrians and other motorists, and it costs their lives and the lives of others. Everyone just needs to drive with due care, the source told the news. Man charged with a 2022 murder of schoolboy after incident reportedly caught on camera. Evidence extracted from a closed-circuit television resulted in the arrest and the charge of a man for the March 23, 2022 killing of a Papine High School student. Charged with murder, illegal possession of firearm, and illegal possession of ammunition is 29-year-old Shaquille Richards, otherwise called the Shaquille Ballin of Chestnut Lane and the Sandy Park addresses in Kingston 6. He is accused of killing 15-year-old Kenyutha Williams on Ligani Avenue in the parish. According to the police, Williams was reportedly shot about 11.15 a.m. as he walked along the roadway. The police were summoned and he was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Richards was arrested during an operation on Tuesday, May 30. He was charged following the review of the CCTV footage, which captured him committing the murder. His court date is being arranged. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.